Hello everyone, welcome to Intigyan. In this video, we will be solving one trigonometric equation problem which is from J type. It is not exactly J, only digits are different. In that problem, it was 3 or 2. In right side, it was 1 over 5. So, only change in the numbers, but concept is still as it is. So, let's begin this problem. It is sine power 4x plus cosine power 4x over 2 is equal to 1 over 3. How we will start? Step by step, we will see how to approach this kind of question. Sine power 4x plus cosine power 4x. If sine and cosine with in between plus sine is there and power is 4, then it is but obvious, it should come in our mind that sine square x plus cosine square x. If I will take a square of that, then sine power 4 and cosine power 4 will come. So let's take the square. So it is one identity sine square theta plus cos square theta that is 1. Let's open by the formula of whole square a plus b whole square. So a square, a square means sine power 4x plus b square means cosine power 4x plus twice ab. So twice sine square x and cosine square x. Now we have to target only this section because that will be useful once I will take LCM of that. So let me calculate only sine power 4x plus cosine power 4x would be equal to this value. We all know that is 1. So 1 square is 1. So 1 minus this term. So we will write 2 sin square x cosine square x. This is one standard identity we use directly in the examinations like JE. So I will keep this result for our calculation. Now let us take our equation. Our equation is let's start by taking uh, multiply both sides by 2. So it will come out 2 sine power 4x plus cosine power 4x is equal to 2 over 3. Now I will split this 2 into 1 and 1. So I will write sine power 4x plus sine power 4x plus cosine power 4x equal to 2 over 3. Now I will target this part because we have calculated that result we will use directly. So in that place I will write 1 minus 2 sin square x cos square x. Let's put. So equation will be sin power 4x minus plus 1 minus 2 sin square x cosine square x equal to 2 over 3. Okay. So sin power 4x plus cosine power 4x is 1 minus 2 sin square x cosine square x. Now let's take identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So I will use that for cos, cos square x. So from here I will write cos square x is equal to 1 minus sin square x. So that value I will substitute in place of cosine square x. So value will be sin power 4x plus 1 minus 2 sin square x 1 minus sin square x is equal to 2 over 3. Okay. Now open this bracket. Equation will be sin power 4x plus 1. Open this bracket. Minus 2 sin square x plus 2 sin square x sin power 4x is equal to 2 over 3. Minus 2 sin square x minus sin square x. So it will become plus 2 sin power 4x. 
and minus 2 sin square x into 1 is minus 2 sin square x. So let us take 2 sin square x and this is 1 sin square x. So I will write 3 sin power 4x minus 2 sin square x. Then I will write plus 1 minus 2 over 3 equal to 0. I took 2 over 3 to left side. So 3 sin power 4x minus 2 sin square x. 1 minus 2 over 3 will become 1 over 3 equal to 0. Now multiply by 3 so that 1 over 3 will be finished or over. So 9 sin power 4x minus 2 no, that will be 6 6 sin square x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now see one thing. 9 sin power 4x I will write 3 sin square x whole square. Is it? See 3 square is 9 sin square x whole square is sin power 4x. Simple. Now last this one I am writing 1 square. So it is recalling actually a square plus b square and this middle term looks like it, it should be minus 2ab. So let me try 2ab. 3 sin square x. a is done. b is 1. Is it matching? Yes. 2 into 3 sin square x. So it will become 6 sin square x. Sin is c minus sin as it is. So that means it is a minus b whole square because this is a square. This is minus 2ab and it looks like b square. So I will write in total, I will write 3 sin x sin square x minus 1 whole square. Very important result 3 sin square x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. If I will put that equal to 0, then 3 sin square x minus 1 equal to 0. Add 1 to both sides. So 3 sin square x will be equal to 1. Sin square x will be equal to 1 over 3. Very important result it is. Sin square x is equal to 1 over 3. So cos square x will be, let me write here, sin square x is equal to 1 over 3. Let us find now cos square x. That will be 1 minus sin square x. We know the identity. So 1 minus 1 over 3. So cos square x will become 2 over 3. Let me write here. So important result. Now you can see our options are tan square x. You can check. So we have to find the value of tan square first. So what is tan square? Tan square x will be equal to sin square over cosine square. So let's put the value 1 over 3 over 2 over 3. So value will come out 1 over 2. And see 1 over 2 is your option A. You can check. Option A is correct option. Now come to the other C and D options or we will calculate. That means we have to find out the value of sin power 8. Let me write sin power 8x over 2 plus cosine power 8x over 8. This value we have to find out. Okay, let's find. We know that sin square x is 1 over 3, cosine square x is 2 over 3. So it is actually sin square x whole power 4 over 2 plus cosine square x whole power 4 over 8. You can check. Whole power 8 means is square whole power 4. If you take the product of exponent, it is coming out 8. So let me put here value. Sin square x is 
1 over 3. So it's power 4 means 1 over 3 raised to the power 4, 1 over 81. So it will be 1 over 2 times 81. Now come to cosine is, is square whole power 4. So ultimately cos is square whole power 4 means 2 over 3 whole power 4. 2 power 4 is 16, 3 power 4 is 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 9 is 81. So 16 over 81 and see divided by 8, so it will come out 2 over 81. Done? So that value will come out if you resolve it common denominator or take LCM also. Well, let me make it common denominator. So I will write 4 over 2 times 81. So it will come out 5 over 2 times 81. That means 5 over 162. And that is your option C. Now let's check. So you can see this is your option C and see this is your option A. That means two options are correct, option A and option C. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This was IIT JE looks like question. Not numeric value is same, but question concept is same.